Welcome to Oceanography News, where O News knows news. I'm your anchorman, Fido P. Lankton. Global warming and the effects of greenhouse gases are having a continuing effect on our life here on Earth and our ocean. Here are some of the basics. Earth is kept warm by its own natural greenhouse gases. They act to capture heat in the Earth's atmosphere and prevent it from escaping. Without this warming blanket of gases, our planet would be uninhabitable a giant ice cube floating through space. Since the beginning of the Earth, these gases, carbon dioxide, have been kept in balance from the absorption by plants and other natural sinks. The plants absorb CO2 and release oxygen back into the air, nature's own recycler of CO2 meant to keep the Earth in balance. Since the industrial boom of the 1700s, people have been burning more and more fossil fuels every year. What started as factories in England and early America has now turned into trains, planes, cars, power plants, and even more factories burning fossil fuels and contributing to the ever-increasing amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, creating a thicker blanket and a larger greenhouse effect. These gases are being expelled at such a rate that Earth just cannot absorb them. The gases are remaining anywhere from 50 to 100 years. Thus, the problem increases. In fact, over the past 100 years, the average temperature of the Earth has risen a whopping one degree. If one degree doesn't sound like a lot, consider this. The difference in global average temperatures between modern times and the last ice age was only about 9 degrees Fahrenheit. So in fact, one degree is very significant, especially since the unnatural warming will continue as long as we keep putting extra greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. A quote from fightglobalwarming.com. Since the 1700s, people have increased the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by 31%. At the ever-increasing rate of output that we are traveling at now, by the year 2100, conservative estimates say that the overall temperature of the Earth will increase by 5 degrees Fahrenheit. It could jump as much as 11.5 degrees. If this still isn't hitting home, let's take a look at Venus. Venus's average surface temperature is 462 degrees Celsius, Earth's is only 14 degrees Celsius. Venus's atmosphere contains 96.5% carbon dioxide, and Earth only has 0.038%. As our output of carbon increases, our atmosphere becomes more and more like that of Venus, and therefore our temperature raises and raises. This results in the melting of polar ice caps, which increases greatly the amount of water being dumped into the ocean, which raises our sea level and negatively affects hundreds of species of animals who call the polar zones home. Now that we've talked about global warming and some of its effects, let's see what the local public out in your community thinks about it and how we can possibly solve it. We now go live to our field correspondent, Ben Fick, who is out in Orange County. Ben, are you there? Yeah, that, I'm here, Fido. I hear you. Hi. Hi, Ben Fick here. I'm out on the streets of Yorba Linda, and I stopped a random uh, uh, local here from, from Yorba Linda and here to ask him about global warming. Sir, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure. Go right ahead. Oh, good. All right. Well... Um, are you aware of the major contributors of greenhouse gases? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm somewhat aware of them, but not, not very familiar with them. Not very familiar with them? All right. Um, are you aware that greenhouse gases are caused through natural and human activities? Uh, there are some, yeah. I understand. From what I understand, there are some that are some. caused by us. All right, some. Um, do you spend a fair amount of time worrying about greenhouse gases and the quality of our environment? Uh, no, I don't, I don't spend any time worrying about it, really. All right, then. And the final question, are you willing to pay more for alternative energy sources? Um, no, I would be strongly opposed to that. I, uh, I, I don't think we need to. I think the natural market will take care of that for us. All right. There you have it. Right there, a local man giving his opinion on an online poll taken from college-age students. Um, most college-age students, about 71% of them, say that they agree somewhat that they are aware of the contributors of greenhouse gases, just like our friend here. Um, they are also over 70% agree that uh, the greenhouse gases are caused through human or natural activities. But also, just like this random uh, man off the street here, uh, only 42% agree that they would actually want to do something about it. Well, that's the uh, report here out in your Belinda. Back to you, you handsome looking man, Fido. Thanks, Ben. Well, as Southern Californians, we see the effects of greenhouse gases every day. There are many things we can do to help alleviate the problem. Citizens of LA and Orange County are urged to take public transit, 
ride your bike or bike and invest in energy saving transportation and home appliances. So remember, the responsibility is ours to take care of our planet for our future generations. This is Fido P. Langton signing off for O News. Good night and good luck. Okay. Let's get something to eat.